had failed. And there was hunger in the land. It was hard to feed people at the best of times. But these were the worst of times. Hunger, hunger is the worst teacher. The people tossed and turned and sweated in the darkness. Starvation is a slow and cruel death. If only we could save all the children. Destroyed by hunger, families extracted the bodies of their dead. Mothers were fed their children in desperation. The harvest had failed, and there was hunger in the land. It was hard to feed people at the best of times. But these were the worst of times. Hunger is the worst teacher. The people tossed and turned and sweated in the darkness. Starvation is a slow and cruel death. If only we could save all the children. Destroyed by hunger, families extracted the bodies of their dead. Mothers were fed their children in desperation. These were the worst of times. Times of hunger, famine and starvation. Not even a bird was lucky enough to find one single crumb. Night after hungry night, the woodcutter lie awake in bed, next to his wife, tossing and turning. What are we going to do? How can we feed our two poor children? We partly enough for ourselves. Listen to me. Tomorrow, at first light, we will take the children into the forest, right into the cold, black heart of it. No, wife. I can't do that. What will happen? Will happen? We'll light a fire for them. They were off to our work, and will never find their way home. But the bears will also tear them to pieces. How can I do this to my children? I love them. We'll be rid of them, for good, and only have to worry about feeding ourselves. How can I have the heart to leave Hansel and Gretel in the forest? Would you rather us die of starvation? How can I do this to my children? You may as well stop smoothing the wood in our coffin now. But I love them. You're a fool! You, you fool! Into the cold, black heart of the forest. He fretted and sweated in the darkness. Leave them there. Leave them alone. Leave them to die! No! Why? I can't. No! 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 We will be rid of them for good. No! How could I have the heart to? You fool. You fool! Would you rather us die of starvation? He fretted and sweated in the darkness. They'll never be able to find their way home. How could I do that to my poor children? How could I have the heart to? Would you rather us die of starvation? Hmm? I can't do that. You fool. waiting, for they had heard every cruel word of their stepmother's terrible plan. Hansel, did you hear? Hansel and Gretel had been so hungry that night. We've finished. Don't worry, Gretel. I'll find a way to save us. Gretel cried bitter salt tears. Don't worry, Gretel. Don't cry, Gretel. Don't be sad. <coughs> Don't worry. We're finished. Don't worry. I'll find a way to save us. We'll be fine, I promise. We can sleep now. Don't worry, Gretel. Don't cry, Gretel. I'll find a way to save us. At dawn, before the sun had properly risen, the mother came, she woke the two children. Get up, you lazy scraps! We're going to the forest to chop some woods. And then she gave each of them a miserable mouthful of bread. There's your lunch. You think yourselves lucky. Don't eat it all at once because there's nothing else. Then the family set off along their path to the forest. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
the rest of us. Oh, sorry, Father. I was just looking at my white kitten. He's up there on the roof, uh, waving goodbye. You stupid boy! That is not your kitten, now come on! But, of course, Hansel hadn't been looking for his white kitten at all. Carefully, one tiny crumb at a time, he laid a trail of breadcrumbs along the path. You sit here. Your father and I are going further into the forest to chop wood. And in the evening, when we're done, we'll come back and get you. The forest was immense and gloomy. As darkness fell, they were surrounded by the pitch black night. And so how are we going to get out of here? It's enormous and we can't see a thing. Don't panic. When the moon rises, we'll be able to see the breadcrumbs that I dropped, and they'll show us the way home. By the light of the moon, Hansel and Gretel retrace their steps, searching for the trail of breadcrumbs Hansel had so cleverly left. But as the moon emerged from the darkness, they couldn't find a single breadcrumb because all the thousands of birds that fly about in the forest had pecked them away and eaten them. They walked all that night and all the following day, and by the next evening they were still so hopelessly lost in the bowels of the forest. What's worse, they were hungrier than they'd ever been in their skinny young lives.
sister stood open mouthed in the clearing in which they had come to, staring at a house that belonged in dreams. The fragrance of cinnamon hung in the air, for the walls of this small cottage were made of freshly baked biscuit. The roof was cut from slabs of cake, heavy with fruit and nuts, and the windows were clear spun sugar, glistening in the sun. A house of sweets! <laughs> Hard humbugs. Cloudy candy floss. Soft powdery pineapple. Strawberry lollipop. This woman is only pretending to be kind, for she is really a cruel and evil witch who lays in wait for children, and has only built her house of sweets to trap, trap! And when a child will fall into her power, she'll kill them, kill, kill cook them, cook, cook, eat them, eat! For that is her favorite feasting day. Witches have red eyes, which they can't see very far with. They have a powerful sense of smell, <sighs> as good as any animal and they can smell anyone who comes near them. So as Hansel and Gretel did all, did enjoyed the delicious delights in the little woods, and the, the witch cackled a spiteful laugh and said nastily, here's two for my belly that shan't escape. Hansel, do you hear that sound? Oh, what is that horrible noise? I have my own. Uh, I'll show it to you. In the kitchen stood something like a huge black cupboard. From deep within it came a sound like roaring. I shall open the door and you can see. <laughs> These are the flames, my little ducklings. <laughs> Gretel turned away. The flames from the oven's black heart reminded her of the pictures she'd seen from hell. And so I think they may be right. I think this old woman really is a witch. I mean, she has red eyes, that's a sure sign, they say. But red or not, her eyes are weak. She peers at everything as though she can hardly see it. The next morning, the witch summoned Hansel to help her fetch a chicken from the poultry cage to roast for supper. The cage is empty. The cage was empty, but no. now you're in it! From that moment on, everything changed. Poor Gretel became a servant to the witch. Day after day, the best meals were cooked for Hansel, while poor Gretel had to survive on crab shells. Give me your finger. I want to see how plump you're getting. But clever Hansel held out a chicken bone instead. 
But the old crone's red witchy eyes couldn't see it. Why won't you fatten up? Once taste your flesh! So tired. So weak. So scared. Thank <laughs> you. 